Hi there, everyone. I'm back. Yes. You didn't expect it, but you're going to get a video. So, um, what I'm going to do... Oh, I forgot the bottle thing. I want to do another bottle thing because I, I thought I had it out of my system, but I thought I'd do really pretty light colors, something like springy something. So what I did is I mixed up these colors and yes I have two sorts of white one is transparent one is opaque and I'll show you the colors because I want to show you that even with a couple of bottles of Vallejo fluid you can make something pretty so the first one is uh, titanium white this is the opaque and these are really cheap colors then I have the titanium or the zinc white. This is the transparent. Then I have um, transparent orange. 414. I'll name the numbers. This is the uh, zinc white is 320. Because all the, um, the Vallejo fluids, they have a 6, 8 and then a dot. And then you get the color number. So we have 414 and 320. Then we have the um, the opaque white is 303 and then we have a 428 that is the Hansi yellow opaque and then I have um, pyrrole orange which is 821. Now the uh, number behind the dot uh, is also um, the number that tells you how um, well the, the how expensive the pigments are. So, um, when you have the 300, that is the lowest, they are the cheapest. Then you go to the 400 series, they are a little bit more expensive. Then you go to the 600, and then you go to the 800. And this is um, more expensive because the pigments to make this paint, they are just more expensive. And you can see it, how, you know, how vibrant that orange is. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, what I did, I mixed it with uh, Ovatrol Floatrol with this. That's what I mixed it with. So I just squirted in some color, put in some Floatrol, added a little bit of the pouring medium, and added a little bit of the gloss fluid medium. And I'm talking just a little squirt. And that's, uh, that's it. And, you know, for the people that don't enjoy uh, mixing up paint that much, I think this is the way to go because Vallejo fluid mixes so fast. You know, I, I think I mixed all this paint, like, within 10 minutes it was ready. So that's the plus for using the fluid acrylics because it goes so fast. So I'll put them aside. I'm going to do this one in English and then I'm going to do uh, another pour. And I'm going to do that in Dutch because I want to, you know, sometimes I have a feeling that I don't do enough Dutch uh, videos for the Dutch customers. So I'm going to do a Dutch one uh, also after this one. So as you can see, um, when you do that, you have the perfect consistency. And I know you can't see it from, uh, from how it's coming in the cup, but if you look real closely, let me try and show you up close. You can see that it comes off that stick in one continuous stream and that's what you're looking for because you don't want it to come off in chunks or in drips you want it to come off in one stream and that's very important the more that it has a stream the better that it will behave on the canvas and then you know the results will be that what you want right okay so there's no silicone in, uh, in any of these colors but I do want to add silicone and I think I'll go for the light yellow. So I'm going to use my dimethicone and I'm only going to put it in that one. So there's a little bit in there and we're going to give it a quick stir like that. That's more than enough. Then I'll get my little bottom. Now, of course, you have uh, different uh, sizes of these uh, bottles. And I know someone said, oh, I don't want to do this because um, they're, you know, they're worth money. But uh, come on, people, this is worth money, too. So what's 50 cents for the uh, bottle that you're cutting up? 
So I don't know, because, you know, if you're about worried about 50 cents, I don't know, you th I think you should be really worried about the paint you're using and the canvas. So um, we could go for the big one or the little one, but I think I'll do the little one because the canvas is 20 by 20 centimeters. And I could do the big one because, you know, as I, sh I showed you, I cut out these triangles, see, all around. So the paint will flow underneath, but I think I'll go for the little one because I think that'll look better. So we have um, this set, we have the paint set, we have put the silicone here in the, uh, in the light yellow, and we're all ready to go. But I want to pour out of one of these cups, so I'll have to get one. And here we are. So we're going to fill it up. And I'm going to start with white. And I don't know which white. I should have put it on the cup. But that's a little bit stupid on my part. Because I forgot to put on which one is the opaque. And one, which one is the, the uh, transparent. But we got a lot of beautiful, very happy colors. Colors that is going to make, I hope, a lot of impact on the uh, canvas. I think that's about enough. The full cup is 180 milliliters, and I filled it up to here, so I'm thinking 160. That's about what's in the cup. Uh, and I know that it's enough for the, uh, for the canvas. So I'm going to put the other paint away, because that's for the uh, other video that I'm going to do in Dutch. And I'm going to start pouring on here. And I am going to make a little bit of circular motions because I do want to have a little bit of an idea that it's a ring pour. See ya? There we go. Now that's looking really pretty. And I'm going to let that drip off just a little bit. And I'm going to come in with my torch. Look at those cells. Um, I've got a lot of cells popping up and I'm thinking that that's more than enough because I don't want to really have a lot of cells. I just want a little hint of cells. Whoops. There we go. And then I had someone that said, why would you um, do that, you know, pour like that and then, you know, then disrupt all everything you've done by tilting. Well, it's, it's, the thing is that it's only a, uh, a way of getting the paint on the canvas. And you can tilt or you can not tilt. You could do a uh, background uh, of white. You can lay that down first and then just do that little thing on top. And that, then it'll look like a flower, I guess. But I'm not going for the flower. I'm going for... Oh, look at that. That is pretty. I'm just going for a really nice pour. And as you can see, there's here's not much going on. Down there, there's not, not much going on. But here I'm getting some really pretty... Pretty... Um, <laughs> sorry, I felt, felt quiet there. But um, while I'm doing this... Um, what happens is that I can see what's popping up in my uh, monitor that are questions from YouTube. And someone asked me, do you use silicone? Then I just have to think you don't look at many videos because, boy, do I use silicone. So this is it. This is what, what it turned into. Uh, I got a lot of cells going up here. I'm going to take you guys down and do a close-up in a bit. But as you can see, there are some cells here, a little bit of cell work there, a little bit there, and the rest is pretty much uh, calm. And of course, this is going to darken a little bit because I've used only uh, the Floetrol and only a couple of squirts of the other stuff, but th the base is Floetrol. And because Floetrol is white, it will lighten up your colors when you're when everything's wet. But as soon as this starts to uh, dry, you'll see that the orange intensifies 
and this color here over the orange that will intensify of course you won't see any difference in the white because white is white but the rest will just turn a little bit more vibrant and just a little bit uh, deeper in color so that's really cool and I can see a couple of little air bubbles here which I do want to and when I do the air bubbles I, I, I hold my um, uh, torch up high and come down on it like that and pull it straight back up because what I don't want to do is um, over warm heat the the paint because that's uh, a problem some people have that they what they do is they burn they think the longer you you torch it the more uh, cells will appear well that's not the case what if you really want the the bigger the slower the the more circular cells what you do is if this is your canvas you hold your torch up like this and this is about 12 12 inches i'd say about 25 centimeters and you just hold it in one place so then you you don't swipe this high because you know then all the warmth will go away you really just hold it like this and you'll see that the warmth comes down on your uh, uh, paint and you'll see those cells appear but really slowly the closer you are to your paint if you're close like this then you'll see that it goes really fast but then it sort of um, it's like you know putting on the brake you torch it and it goes fast and that's it and then people over torch because they think I want more and I want bigger cells and that's what happens so if I were to give you a good advice is it's always this this distance and hold it up and keep it in place so that the warmth can come down on your paint gotta try that now as you can see all the cells are staying nicely in place and that's the way we want it and um, there is one little bit of canvas peeking through and don't want that so I'm gonna put this one away and of course I forgot to put paper on the table my hubby has got to clean everything. Okie dokie. Now, um, I do want to do a swipe, but I can't clean my hands on my robe because I got my good one on. Let's see. Uh oh, sorry about that, guys. Well. I'll just have to do this. Can't help it. Because I do want to test out with a pellet knife. I do want to test out, and I'll do it with my spoon. So we're going to put the last of the cup on the photo paper, like that. Turn it around. Look at that. That is pretty all by itself, right? Let's not swipe it, but let's just torch it. Because I think there's going to be some fun happening. Yes, there is. Look at that. That is really pretty. See that? Let me get you in focus there. There it is. That's kind of nice. Never know if someone would like a, an orange pendant. We'll keep that one. Now, um, another one. Oh, I was going to bring you guys down and show you a close-up. I forgot about that. Yeah, should have done that. A little bit of white, and I'm hoping this is the white with the silicone in it. Let's see. I do see some silicone in there. Let's see if I can show you up close. There we go. That's kind of pretty too. I think I'll just keep this because if you do something like this, let me get you in focus. If you do something like this, see you can cut out a pendant. I would take something that has some white in it because you know that just pops up straight away. But I would take a piece out of this here at the top, and then I do one down here at the bottom, or I might even cut it out like this so you have the cells on top and the cells at the bottom 
and like I showed you in previous videos if you have those little um, cut out pieces that are just as big as your bezels you can just hold it on top and you can choose what you really like as you can see it's pretty much moving so you gotta lay it down really fast but you know you're not going to be pulling it up and showing to people so that's going to be okay now I'm gonna um, now you know what I'll do tomorrow I'll show you the close-up when it's dry and that might even be better because you'll see that the colors intensify and it'll be just a little bit more vibrant and that's kind of fun to do and I'll just swipe through this see how f it does go fast it changes color that's the only thing you know that is with the uh, fluids that goes for the golden too anything that is really fluid will uh, if you manipulate the paint too much you'll see that it all goes together and makes one color and in this case it's not a bad thing because as you can see this is a pretty nice color I like it it's sort of um, selum, selum sort of color see that and I'm absolutely going to keep this so I'm going to put this uh, in a cup and I'm going to use it in the uh, pour I'm going to do in Dutch but that's going to be tomorrow I'm going to put some lids on the, on the paint cups but I'm going to use this absolutely because I like the color might really go well with the, the rest so as you can see it's pretty uh, pretty opaquey nice opaquey salem color so I'll scrape that up right away and put it in a cup so thanks all for watching love you all to pieces tomorrow I'm gonna do the giveaway I'm gonna cut it all up and put it in the hat and pull one like I said I'm gonna pull one name out of there and I'm gonna give them a choice of a couple of paintings I know I said I did a pour that I wanted to give to the uh, giveaway uh, you know giveaway thing but I like it better if you can choose out of something because you know people have different choices of painting so I want to give you a choice okay gotta see you all later love you all to pieces Lieber euch alle, hoffe ihr allemaal. See you tomorrow.